Ernie, this team, they're loaded. The stat that I think you said earlier, in the first round of playoff, they had a leading, different leading score every game. Yeah, the, game, the games. That That's they're remarkable. Yeah. Yeah. That is remarkable to have a leading score in, in every single playoff game. That is remarkable. But I'm gonna just tell you this, the Washington Wizards are going to the Eastern Conference Finals. No doubt in your mind. No doubt whatsoever, Ernie. John Wall is gonna play at an all-star level this year. We always talk about the young point guards and the mark they're making in the league. He gets left off that list. Starting this year, people are gonna make sure he's on that list. His last two months, last season, statistically was right there with Kyrie. Pierce ahead to Wall. Already five turnovers for Cleveland. Wall to the basket, count it, and one. Went right at Irving. John, I'm proud of you, bro. Stephen A. Smith here, man. I got to ask you, what has it been like for you over the last uh, few years or so? There was a time when we looked at the Washington Wizards. I mean, they were just, they, they, y'all were so close to irrelevant. I didn't even know if you would stay in the nation's capital. What has it been like for you, uh, and, and why, it, why were you so happy to stay on board? Uh, we enjoy playing with each other. Uh, we have great chemistry. We all work hard and we know how much we mean to each other, how much we work every day, and uh, we're just trying to keep getting better each game. Wall showing every facet of his game so far and rarely missing from the floor. Wall tips it up into the air for the steal and Wall will slam it in for two. You look at what John Wall's doing this year, he's ranked second in the league in assists, he's second in steals, top 30 in scoring. Given where the Wizards are right now and how well John Wall is playing, Neil, I'll ask you, do you think he's the best point guard in the NBA? No, it's not even close. Okay. I mean, I'm not even sure he's in the top five. You look at some of the advanced metrics. I've said this since John Wall was at Kentucky. He is very overrated to me as a pure point guard. Again, we are looking at a very talented, athletic two guard who's sort of having to play point guard. He is not a gifted distributor of the basketball. I don't think he's a great leader of a basketball team. No three-point shot whatsoever. Come on, John Wall. Can you be a, a successful point guard in 2014 and not have a three-point shot? Yes. Here's why. Some of the best point guards in the history of the game didn't shoot three. My whole thing was I was put on this earth to do something, and I was blessed to be able to play basketball. But my main thing was to keep striving to be a better person. That's one thing my mom always instilled in me was it doesn't matter what nobody thinks of you as a basketball player. They're always going to look at you as a person first. And... With the first pick in the 2010 NBA draft, the Washington Wizards select John Wall from the University of Kentucky. Uh, you get a chance to play with an with a, with a NBA All-Star. What are some things that you seen out of uh, John Wall that has made this the best season of his career? Uh, he's playing with leadership. You know, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's working hard. He's leading by example. And he's, he's, he's just going out there being a mature young point guard. Head the ball center circle. He goes to basket at Dudley. He flips up the shot, fakes and scores, oh. and is fouled by Dudley. If you had to build a team right now, and these are the two options at point guard, who would you take, Wall or Rose? It's unequivocally Wall. John Wall is the guy right now. He's leading the league in assists on a team that doesn't play particularly fast. Uh, he's shooting a career high from the field. Clearly John Wall. John Wall is putting everybody on notice mm -hmm. uh, that all these elite point guards that you talk about, let's not forget about him. Yeah! Man, this is a uh, emotional game for me. This is for my, one of my close friends that I lost that I met last year. And, um, it's just tough, man. You know I mean, to see a little kid that fights so hard for cancer and can't beat it. You know, this game's for her, man. All my jersey, my shorts. Uh, I'm gonna give it to her family. It's a tough day for me. And uh, I was really quiet today. So.